Boker Tov, and good morning. It's wonderful to be here together with you on this first day of the month of Elul. This uh, first day of our formal month of preparation leading on to, to up to Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Yamim Noaim, uh, the days of awe, these uh, days that we can feel coming uh, this year as we somehow find ourselves now in the later part, the later third of the month of August as well. Uh, it's quite a day and uh, lovely to start another new day uh, and to begin to hear the sound of the shofar uh, as uh, the month of Elul begins. So Bogotov, it is uh, wonderful to welcome you here on behalf of Temple Sinai to our moment to be together each day to say Boker Tov, to take a moment to connect, to reflect, and to remember. And as we get together on this day, this Friday morning, August the 21st, we say Chodesh Tov. Uh, may it be a good month as we enter the month of Elul, uh, the month of preparation before the Yom and a month that, whose name, Elul, is understood, in fact, uh, to be an abbreviation, yeah, to be an anagram. Ani uh, ledodi vedodili, that as we prepare, there is this sense of closeness between our people as we prepare for the holidays and God, and a sense of love and closeness with each other uh, should bring us together as we mark the new month. Um, and so we have, uh, it's just a, a really special day. And, uh, but in order to help us mark it properly, we start by grounding ourselves uh, in our traditional prayers and our traditional words. We'll have some additional prayers today because it is the first day of the new month. Uh, but let's join together in Asher Yetzel. Let's join together in the translation, thanking God for the way in which our bodies miraculously work. Blessed eternal God, creator of the universe, you have fashioned our bodies with wisdom, creating within us a finely balanced network. To stand before you in prayer is itself a fragile miracle. Eternal God, we praise you as the healer of body and spirit. And we continue with our prayer for the soul. The soul that you have given me, O God, is a pure one. You have created and formed it, breathed it into me, and that in me you sustain it. So long as my soul is within me, I will give thanks to you, eternal my God and God of my ancestors, source of all creation, sovereign of all souls. We praise you, eternal God, in whose hand is the power of all life and the spirit of all, spirits of all flesh. And now we join together in our bracha for Torah study, making sure the translation and interpretation are available. Let's join together in the Hebrew. Ba'uch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu l'asok b'divrei Torah. Ba'arev na Adonai Eloheinu et divrei Torah t'cha v'finu v'fi amcha b'et Yisrael v'niya anachnu v'tzaetainu v'tzaetai amcha b'et Yisrael Kulanu yod e shemecha, kulom de Torah tacha lishma, bauch ata Adonai, amlamed Torah le amor Yisrael. And again, as we are entering the new month and beginning this journey toward the holidays, let's join together in Bauch Shema and one of our psalms this morning. Let's join together in the modern interpretation of Bauch Shema, created by uh, Israeli Reform Rabbi, Rabbi Moti Rotem, uh, on the right. Blessed is the one who speaks, that we might listen. Blessed is the one who acts, that we might be witnesses. Blessed is the one who decides, that we might accept. Blessed is the one who has mercy, that we might live. Blessed is the one who removes the darkness, that we might see. Blessed is the one who lives forever, that we might believe. Blessed is the one who saves and delivers that we might be redeemed. So as we find ourselves on this journey, month long journey toward the holy days, let's uh, join together in Psalm 121, this Psalm for journeys. I will look only upward past the mountains for my help comes from the one beyond. My help comes from the eternal maker of heaven and earth. Ever alert, your guardian will never allow your foot to stumble. The guardian of Israel never rests, never sleeps. The eternal will watch over you as a shadow cast by your right hand. 
He will not be overcome by the sun nor abandoned by the moon. The Eternal will guard you from all evil, watching over you. The Eternal will guard you as you set out and as you return from this very moment until the end of time. And so now, uh, having said that psalm of protection and safe journeys, uh, let's make our way through the Shema. The Shema, this compilation of words of Torah that reminds us of the unity that connects all of us and all the world, of uh, the love that we should take with us as we make our way throughout our day, and our, as we lie down and as we rise up and as we travel along our way and that reminds us that we carry with us mitzvot, sacred obligations, that give us the opportunity to bring holiness into the world. It's with that spirit that we now join together in the recitation of the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Vaed, Ve'ahavta Ed Adonai Elohecha, בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצבך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם ושבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוכבך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך. ויאמר אדוני אל משה לאמור, דבר אל בני ישראל, ואמרת עליהם, ועשו להם ציצית על כנפי בגדיהם לדורותם. ונתנו על ציצית הכנף בטיל תכלת, והיה לכם לציצית, וראיתם אותו, וזכרתם את כל מצוות אדוני ועשיתם אותם. ולא תטו אחרי לבבכם ואחרי עיניכם, אשר אתם זונים אחריהם, למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי, ואיתם קדושים לאלוהיכם. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים, להיות לכם לאלוהים, אני אדוני אלוהיכם. אדוני אלוהיכם, אמת. And uh, since this is uh, a special day, since it is Rosh Chodesh, uh, we will uh, recite uh, a small part of the Psalms of Praise of Hallel together um, as a way to prepare for our introspection and then for our Torah reading. Uh, so please join with me on the blessing for Hallel. Ba'uch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu likro et ha-Hallel. Let's join in the English of Psalm 113 and then we'll continue uh, with Psalm 116. Hallelujah, let our actions praise the Eternal One. Let each of us bring honor to God's name. Each moment is filled with praise for the one who is beyond time. God is present to every nation and people under the heavens. May God's name be praised from this moment until the end of time. Who is like the Eternal, our God in heaven and earth, dwelling above yet seeing below? The poor are as princes, no soul is barren when seated at God's table, when welcomed into community. Yehi shem Adonai mevoach me'ata ve'adolam. Hallelujah. Now let's join in Psalm 116 in English and then Psalm 117, brief as it is, in Hebrew. Eternal one, hear my voice and my prayers. I love to call upon the name of the eternal God. Save my life, kind one. Seek righteousness, but judge mercifully. Let me walk in your eternal presence in the land of the living. I lift up the cup of strength and call out your name in prayer. Hear me, eternal God, for I am your servant, born to answer your call. Release me from the ties that bind so that I can stand with you in your courts. In Jerusalem, hallelujah. And uh, slipped off of the page there for a moment. So let's go back where we were. And join me in Psalm 117. Alleluia et Adonai kol goyim, shabchu hu kol haumim, ki gavar aleinu chasdo ve'emet Adonai le'olam. Alleluia. This psalm celebrates that God's loving loyalty is powerful and that God's truth gives foundation to the world and gives us the 
opportunity and the responsibility to praise. Well, as we mark this Rosh Chodesh Elul, we continue, though, to uh, note that it's an opportunity for us uh, to continue to develop ourselves as we get ready for the introspective time of Yamim Nelaim. And so this week, uh, continuing to use uh, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Levine's Sefer Cheshbon HaNefesh, the Book of Spiritual Accounting, we have two more qualities or characteristics that we continue to focus on this particular week, um, especially because our parasha, Shoftim, uh, focuses on matters of justice and righteousness. So please, if you wish, join with me in reading these two characteristics that hopefully each of us can work on strengthening in ourselves during this week. Righteousness, what is hateful to you, do not do to others. Productivity, always find something to engage in toward your own good or the good of others. Don't allow a moment of your life to be lost without purpose. These are excellent goals. I don't think it's possible not to lose a moment, but it is an obligation, an opportunity to treasure every moment, to say every moment has within it uh, this kind of wonderful potential. Um, and uh, to have the opportunity to do that is something very special, to remember how much each moment can mean. Well, this moment is a moment of Rosh Chodesh, uh, a moment of the first day of the month of Elul. So I'd like to invite our Torah reader this morning, Jolie Stillman, uh, who's going to be sharing uh, two Eliot from our Torah portion this morning that was her Bat Mitzvah portion as well. Uh, to, uh, she's going to chant uh, two Eliot for us this morning from chapter 27 of uh, the book of Numbers. Uh, so Jolie, uh, we're glad you're with us this morning. Tamod hakorei patorah mi'at. Beautiful. So let me share your portion up on the screen so that those who are participating in our tefillah this morning can follow along. And, uh, and now it's time to begin. Amen. 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 Bin not sell a pot. Bin hey, fair banky lot. Ben mohi here, Ben Manashe. Ben Mishpeho, Manashe. Ben Yosef, the Elash Mo, Ben Ata. Ben Ha no hot. Ben Hagla, Bum Yoka, Bit Yitza. Patamona, Lipne Moshe. Belly Coin. Oh, Oh, excellent. Thank you, Jolie, for sharing that first aliyah. Um, this portion, the Benot Tzlofchad, the daughters of Tzlofchad, is something that uh, we uh, read on Rosh Chodesh at Temple Sinai in Toronto uh, because of the association of Rosh Chodesh as a holiday of uh, Jewish women, uh, as well as of the ethos of stepping forward and being heard that are so important to us. But this portion is also very uh, fitting at this time as we read Parashat Shoktim, which as I mentioned earlier on, deals with matters of justice. Um, and Benot Slavchat is really, if you will, a democratic moment in the uh, Torah in that even though uh, Moses is in charge of the people, uh, he, uh, the, the, these women appeal to Moses um, and Moses, um, takes that appeal to God to get a ruling. And so this is an example of interactive government, something that we value so much and something that, to be honest, it's been hard to watch this week as our Torah portion talks so strongly about the importance of um, the rule of law, of justice being the equal heritage of everyone. Um, and that's something that is so important um, you know, I was very excited last week when I talked about how it is that Israel and the United Arab Emirates 
had uh, made an agreement to mutual recognition, to recognize one another. And then this week, during Parashat Shoftim, um, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu made a statement about how proud Israel was to relate to the United Arab Emirates, especially because it's a democracy. It was shocking to hear him say such a thing. The United Arab Emirates is many things. And the connection to Israel is a good one, but it is in no way and at no time a democracy. It lacks the rule of law. It gets a terrible score on the Freedom Index. Um, that in fact, to call uh, such a country a democracy um, is in fact to devalue democracy um, and uh, to threaten our support for what it is democracy and rule of law really represent. And so while I continue to be very excited, uh, neither of the countries in the region that Israel had diplomatic relations with and has, Egypt and Jordan, are democracies. I'm not suggesting Israel shouldn't relate to the United Arab Emirates, so that's not a big deal, but let's remember reality. Um, and let's also continue to work uh, for a world where people have access to justice, where people can come forward for their own good the way their daughter, daughters of Zalofachach did. Um, so in that spirit, let's uh, continue our reading from the daughters of Zalofachach um, as a reminder of the importance of creating societies where people in general and women in particular can get education and can step forward. Um, and so, Jolie, I'd like you now, if you would, to chant your second Aliyah for us. Amen. Amen. Lama Nikarash Amazina Nito Mishvito Ki Him Lovin Anuanu Ayuba Bito Ayabinu Nikarash. Beautiful. Thank you, Jolie, for sharing those words. It's really inspiring to hear the words Cain Balant Slofra de Rot, that uh, they were for coming forward, their um, willingness to brave that was affirmed. And uh, all of us, hopefully, uh, can enter into uh, a time of uh, commitment, a time of stepping forward as we find ourselves. Uh, in this month of Elul. Uh, each day during this time, but especially uh, any time uh, during uh, the, uh, when we hear Torah read, uh, then uh, one of the things that we do is recite our prayer for those in need of strength and healing. And uh, that prayer uh, this morning is not only for uh, those who are ill um, and those who've had surgery and those in hospital and those in isolation, many of whom I'm specifically thinking about in our congregation, uh, but uh, also for all those who courageously come forward and stand on guard for us. Uh, and so uh, in that spirit now, we turn to the words of our Mishaberach Lecholim. Mishaberach Avotenu Avraham Yitzchak V'Yaakov Vimotenu Sara Rivka, Leav Rachel, Huira paid Kol Makotenu, Iratson Milfenecher Nairoenu, Lachalimam Rapotam, Vishlaklanu Mehera, Rafu Ashlema, Vateret Shalom, Venomar, Amen. May the one who blessed our ancestors bless and heal all who suffer. May it be the divine will to provide healing and strength, reveal to us the holiness of life, the wholeness of Shalom, and together we say, Amen. Well, having had the opportunity to connect and to reflect, especially in light of our Rosh Chodesh Torah portion, we now take time to remember, as we recall the loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have taken into our hearts with our own. During the period of Shloshim, we extend our condolences to the families of Helene Frankie Springer, Margot Grossbain, Rabbi Mark Shapiro, Jan Siegel, Bella Yakubovich, Edith Grossman, Terry Fern Rossman, Alan Dubras. 
and on your site on this day, the first of Elul, um, we uh, we remember uh, Betty Brown, Lillian Rachel Cass, Darren Kendall, Harry Lightstone, Sigmund Pulver, David Reese, Lynn Richmond, Rivka Filderman, Gussie Sobel, Ruth Sterling, Sylvia Stern, Rose Wise. May their memories be a blessing to us. Our griefs and sympathies are mingled as we turn together to words sanctified by memory, words glorified by hope in the Kaddish Yatom. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemerabba v'alma divrach yulte v'yamlich malchute v'chayechon v'yomechon v'chaye dechol bet Yisrael v'agalar v'izman kari v'imru amen. Amen. <laughs> Ose shalom b'mormav, hu yase shalom, aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael b'mru. Amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and bring comfort to all who are bereaved, and together we say, Amen. Well, this is not the conclusion of our Boker Tov Tefillah this morning, it being the month of Elul. Uh, it is traditional that, uh, in fact, we hear the sounding of the shofar, and uh, this year, because we're doing these things online, uh, we're going to uh, hear shofar from many different places uh, around the world. Uh, and so uh, each day we will uh, play a uh, recorded uh, shofar sounding um, and we'll see uh, who it is, is able to identify with specificity all of the different places that we hear shofar sounded from during this month of Elul. I'm grateful to our High Holiday Arrangements Committee for putting this together. Um, and I, I don't think today will be a difficult one to guess as we start. But to begin with, we always uh, say a prayer from our daily uh, Sidu, from the traditional prayer of Uhu Achum, and that has so many High Holiday themes in it, uh, that will give us the opportunity to prepare for the sounding of the Shofar. Join with me, please. The most merciful desire is atonement rather than destruction. God is eager to turn away from anger, not allowing the heat of hostility to awaken. Were the eternal to mark each transgression, only God knows who could yet stand. What would our evil acts say of us? Eternal one, show us your true nature. Remember your endless mercy and boundless kindness. Eternal God, answer us in our time of trouble. Let us feel your commanding presence as we call out in prayer. Source of goodness and guidance, be kind to us and answer us. When we have no good deeds upon which to rely, remake us in your righteous image for your purpose. Incline your ear to listen, open your eyes and see our emptiness. We cannot offer our prayers before you, relying only on, your righteous, on our righteousness. We are dependent on your great mercy. Have compassion for your people. Show mercy to those who honor your heritage. Be kind to us in your great mercy. Gently answer us, for among our daily wonders is your generosity with us. Strengthen us to seek your purpose. Have mercy upon us that we might live by your covenant. Look upon our troubles and answer us, for in your commanding presence, O God, we come to know kindness and mercy. Avinu malkenu, chonenu vanenu, yein banu ma'asim, tzedaka ase imanu lema'an shemecha. And uh, so having done uh, so, now it's time for us to uh, share the sounding of the shofar. And uh, I'm not sure anybody will be able to guess where it's from, uh, but uh, here is our shofar sounding for the first day of the month of Elul. Tzikiyah. Well, have a, a wonderful month, Chodesh uh, Tov, and uh, make today a very special day. Uh, I hope it truly is. 
uh, that today is a day of meaning and significance. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, sharing many great times and days together during this wonderful month of Elul. Have a good month and a great day.